Bye, guys. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> right. Robert Downey Jr. He's been doing some interviews. Obviously, this is uh, because of his TV show, The Sympathizers. It's Emmy season and stuff like that or whatever. He, he's doing interviews because of that show. Uh, he's actually speaking about Doom, which is weird. I thought Marvel wouldn't let me speak about all like this. But he's, he's speaking about it. But I suppose he's Robert Downey Jr. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, and look, he was talking. He says that him and Feige were talking about it. And, you know, him and Feige talk all the time. That's not weird. They've kept in touch after Endgame. And then Feige says to him, uh, what does Feige say to him? I've got it here. Yep. Feige says, it just keeps occurring to me if you were to come back. How can we not go backwards? How can we not disappoint expectations? How can we continue to beat expectations, Downey recalled. Uh, and he brought up Victor Von Doom. I looked into the character later on, and then he goes, let's get Doom right. So, Feige's brought Doom to him, he's looked into the character, and he's thought, fucking A. Alright. Let's fucking do this. So, are you surprised by this, Kyle? That, you know, obviously, it might not, obviously, there's money, there's a lot of money involved. But you're surprised that he's brought this character to Downey and they've gone, he's looked into him and he's thought, this is an interesting character, I want to play him. Um, it doesn't surprise, well, it, it, it's a fresh way to bring RDJ back. Uh, that's, that's how I look at it, you know, it's, it's something new, it's somewhat fresh, but it's something, again, familiar, and I, I think Doctor Doom works really well. I know I said when this was initially announced, I was like, I don't really see that working, that seems a bit odd to me, but the more you think about it, the more it just sort of gels well together, you well, know, you've got, you've got all the great aspects. When we first came out of, like, because we had our phones off that week, so we didn't see the news until we got out of Deadpool and Wolverine, um, but th this was the rumour, not the official announcement. And we just kind of brushed it off. It won't, you know, we weren't dismissing it. We weren't thinking it. I was like, mm, maybe brushed it off. And then we stayed up to uh, for the Comic Con, so we could get all the news as it were coming out. And then we watched that video of him walking out on stage, and was like, this just feels right. And I say it every time we held hands, Kyle, don't deny it. We held hands. We didn't. We didn't. We did. We did. Um, but like I say, I think this is this is a great thing for us to sort of you know f to introduce this character to sort of t change the shift for the mcu you know doom yes it's going to be technically a fresh character but because you're so familiar with obviously iron man already and without bringing him back and sort of disrespecting his legacy um it's it's a it's a almost like a more creative way to bring back a character i think you yeah. know, as opposed to bringing back wolverine where he's just another universe uh, universe's variant, look, which works and it's fine, but this is so much more creative and, and exciting. And we both agree, me. there's going to be an Iron Man variant in Secret Wars, played by Robert Downey Jr., that comes in at the end and is all like, yippee! In fact, the biggest shock would be if there wasn't an Iron Man variant. That would be the biggest surprise, I think. Well, I think the biggest shock for me is like, if they bring in like an Iron Man, it's like, oh, we'll get this Iron Man. He's, you know, he's pretty powerful on on this, meter, you know, meter we've got the reading. Oh, like he's, he's on the like powerful meter. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're going through all, I'm sure they have like some way of, you know, uh, tracking things like that. And then they bring this Iron Man in and it's fucking, it's superior um, Iron Man. Or is it superior Iron Man? Yeah, yeah, superior Iron Man played by Tom fucking Cruise. <laughs> I think that'd be perfect. Yeah, and he's just as much of an evil bastard. So, yeah. yeah. Now, Look, another thing for me as well is I like when actors get involved with the characters. They learn a bit about them. You know, you hear, you hear actors that just take the job, which is fine. That's that's their job. They're, they're, they're not paid to go read the comics and look into the character. They're paid to show up on, on the day and read the script and understand the character that 
the director's got in mind. I have no problem with actors that just show up and get paid. That's, you know, it's still a lot of work. But I love these actors like Tom Hiddleston, who you can tell loves playing Loki and has looked into Loki so much and understands Loki. I'm loving that RDJ is looking into Doom because most people, I think most actors would read Doom and go, I want to play that character. Like the Russo brothers said, probably one of the most complex characters ever in fiction, Victor Von Doom. And another thing as well, which I'm saying out loud now and I was clicking in my head, even Downey saying Victor Von Doom. So it's not Tony Stark, it's Victor Von Doom. And how, I still don't know how they're going to do it. Is it going to be a variant of Tony that is Victor Von Doom? Or is it just going to be Victor Von Doom that happens to look like Tony? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. All questions for the future, which I cannot wait for. Loads of uh, loads of fun stuff coming up. Um, just quickly, though, if you, you know, could think of anyone else to play Doom, because I know a lot of people are quite not impressed with this cat. There's some people who are against it. Is there anyone you can think of off the top of your head to play Doom? Uh, there is one. Um, I've forgotten his name now. He was in that movie with, um, you know, where, uh, I can't remember. It's that proper fucked up movie where they're, they're in this restaurant, this fancy restaurant, and uh, the chef starts dealing them all these dishes and... People are getting killed and things like that. I've forgotten the movie. It was really good. I, oh, I watched um, it really menu. early in the morning, though. Is it, is it the menu? Yeah. With, uh, yes, Ralph... the menu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one I told you to watch. I was like, man, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. But yeah. um, the chef in that... Uh, Ralph we'll Innocent. His name now. Ralph Innocent. Uh, I believe it is. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, Ralph Finnis. F- um, Ralph Fiennes. That's it. Fiennes. Ralph Fiennes. Fiennes. Yeah, uh, he would make a great Doctor Doom, I think, just from what I've seen of him. I've seen him in other things, but this is where it kind of stood out as like this, you know, he could play a very complex character Yeah, as the requirements of Doctor Doom. Now, look, we look at Killian Murphy last year and he was, you know, when he was doing all interviews for Oppenheimer and stuff like that, and he was saying, look, if they get a good script, I'd I'd play Doctor Doom, but he's someone I don't think they'd want to, t- he'd want to be tied down to a multi-picture deal. Our DJ clearly doesn't have a problem with that because he was tied to the MCU for over a decade. Yeah, but I mean, it wouldn't be that big of a multi-picture deal. It'd be like two, films. three at most. Yeah, three at most. But because uh, obviously we we speculated that uh, Doom may appear in the Fantastic Four film. It's yeah. very very likely. Very likely. So, and Kyle speculated yeah. that Blade will not show up in Blade. Yes. If you book tickets to go see Blade, you will go there and you will not see Blade. Yep. There'll just be nothing on screen. Yep. As of right now. Anyway. Just adverts and repeat. Let's move on to the next topic. Uh... Wow. Wasn't that a great video? Would you agree, Kyle? Yes. You should definitely give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. We are now late night TV talk show hosts who say subscribe to our channel after video because we are cool. Oh, fuck yeah. That's kind of what we're doing, aren't we? Shut mate. Just commit to it. Oh, no. Oh, but don't commit, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>